<laughs> well, I guess that means you can just set how fast you go. That's kind of fine, actually. You don't have to build up any speed. You just be on the right gear and it just hops you. Okay, that's cool. This is the wrong way, by the way. Or is it the wrong way? Wait, don't I go? Actually, I go down, don't I? I don't like that they've made it so that I have to fight this trainer. There's a lot of green hair trainers. Look, there's the other fire type. The only one. Oh, neat. At least in this game. Two things. They've added some plat previously platinum only Pokemon. Catchable. Like you can get a you can get a hound doom. Uh, in this game yeah. or in this mod? In this game. Okay. It's like some it's platinum like, obtainable Pokemon. Like you can get a Magmar. I think you can get a Magmar. Why didn't they just, you know, give us platinum? Uh, because that, they don't, what, that's not as much money as they could make. They could sell two games. Yeah, they could. They, they, we could still have two games. The, the regionals and all the, or the exclusives, etc. But like, why not platinum? Well, because we don't we don't remake we don't remake third third games. What do you think yeah, this but is? platinum has like the better story. We don't remake third games. What do you think this is? I feel like they're just gonna like. After all the remakes, just come out with new remakes that are just the third versions. No, 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 no. We already added the crystal content to to Harkle as well as Silver. You, like, you can catch the Bakun over there. We didn't do anything for Emerald, and we didn't do anything for Platinum. But uh, look, we did it. Now why stop we, complaining. Why are they like this? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. They, they didn't have to be like this. They really didn't, as it turns out. Look at all these forced fights that they that they uh, present in such a way that makes you think it might not be forced. Isn't that great? No. Oh. What are you talking about? Um. Uh oh. Just kidding. It's fine. Give me that. I didn't even know Strength Sap was a move, by the way. Like, it must have been added in Gen 8, or maybe Gen 7, but I really like it. <laughs> it's such a unique healing skill. Did you see what it does? No, I didn't. So it basically looks at the opponent's attack stat and says, okay, heal for that much. And then it lowers the opponent's attack stat by one stage. Oh. Well, it's really that. cool. Yeah. Hmm. You literally can't go this way unless you come back. And forced fight? So one of the mods is in play here. Do you know which one? Um. No. 
That's fine. You're not as familiar with uh, the later game Pokemon, later gen Pokemon games. Um, Star Raptor is on the ground. Oh. Oh, that's. Yeah, okay, yeah, I wasn't even paying attention because don't make all flying types for some reason just. Fly. A lot of them. A lot of them are just hovering because of sky battles. So they, th those were the models. Yeah, like they exist. They made the models of them just like. Don't ice God bang forbid. me. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, they, they made them because the Pokemon have to be in the sky for sky battles, and then they just never made standing like, models because, or just animations, I should say, because, you know, s s screw you. That's the only reason I can come up with, that they didn't just also have standing poses. It's the worst. I'm glad you said that while Bibarel was on screen so that I can cut that out and use it for later. Yeah, you... No, you're welcome. <laughs> now we can just point to that and be like, yeah. Toxin cool. agrees. The worst. Nine out of ten dentists recommend that you throw out a yeah. No. No, no, no. I mean, just no look at his teeth. Immaculate. Um. Full of wood. Sure. Just full of wood. And bones. Why is this a trap? And you have to do the forced fight. I sure do love all the forced fights in this victory road. They're my favorite. Could be a problem. End the fight. Don't fall asleep. All right. No. Nope. Send out something weak to ice or dark. All right. Look at not hoverbird, isn't it? Great. He's dead now. Non, non hovering bird. Oh, he does his. Okay, that's kind of funny. Did they? Does did he always do that? Or did they actually add in the? Were, was that just the animations from Battle Revolution where the Haunch Crow does the Razor Claw one? It's in here somewhere. I have to find it. Right here. Nope, it's Dragon Pulse. Hmm. The Razor Claw is in here somewhere. I should look that up, because we need that. It's on the first floor. So maybe it's after we go up the stairs here. Need Tekken character? Yeah. Anyway, this is a dragon 
Tamer, so we're gonna have some Ice Punches. Possibly just one Ice Punch. Possibly over here somewhere. There we go. It have to be after eight o'clock. Oh, that's past the damn time. Hello, person blocking the way to the post game. This time Area. things are so weird. Use Dialga powers. I will. I will once we get out of here. How do I climb up there? Oh, it's it is going down past this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna do. We haven't fought with Luna at all. I hope you don't have fighting types. Alright, this is fine. Why do I get poisoned so often? Did it. You used Metal Claw on the slug. You see how many antidotes I bought just because I knew? time. Now. It's time for more ice punches. So this right here is the first gibble I think you run into. Which means if you don't already know where it is, you now get to learn where to catch one. Either that or we skipped an earlier trainer, but I don't remember one. Well, it's only in two game. These dragon types. Well, to be fair, that's a reward for exploring. You could have found it already, right? Because this is back when, you know, the game actually had optional areas that you could skip. We didn't go to at least two zones. 
the Fuego Ironworks and the cave where you find the Gibble. We just didn't go there. That girl is still lost in that cave forever. We're it's never just... gonna rescue her. She's gonna die. Dale Gibble. Okay. Okay, Toei. Yeah, that's that's not that's not nighttime yet. All right, it's time for the powers of um. Powers of Alt. It's time for me to invoke the powers of Dialga. <laughs> no, there's no rival battle at the end of Victory Road. I didn't oh, yeah. kill the stream for you, did it? For me, no. Oh, that's good. All right. So now we just gotta wait for it to reload. And then we can go, huh. There we go. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's been an hour. That was just for it to load. It takes, you know, an hour. Forever. An hour, to be exact. And now it's nighttime. Yeah, it sure feels like we lost an hour. Yeah, weird. PBR. Wait. Oh, I did. That was a. <gasps> that happened, didn't it? Huh. I forgot. Yeah, there's a Weavile costume for the trainer in in PBR. Is that right? Is that what you're referencing? I had forgotten about that completely. If that's the case. Wait. Anyway, the rival fight is actually uh, when you try to go into the elite uh, the elite four. So when you go talk to that guy, that's where the rival fight happens. No, but that was the main character of your PBR run. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, because it's Weavile. Anyway, we're going to go back to Pastoria now. So I got some unfinished business to attend to. He needs his Brick Break. Yeah, we don't have Brick Break DMs, unfortunately. Wait. Can I teach it Drain Punch? There's no way, right? Low Sweep. We might use Low Sweep, but... No, can't learn Drain Punch. Uh, Low Sweep it is. Wait, is that useful? That will be useful. Yes. Oh man, we've also needs to bring down his opponent's speed. Yeah, it's more for coverage because it's just better than Metal Claw. So, you know. All right. Hang on, one more thing to take care of.
Wait, what? Huh? What's going on here? Oh. That's what's going on here. Well then. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of grinding. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of oh yeah. Graveler's gonna have sturdy. I'm not not dealing with that. Alright, so hmm. Everything has to be rock type. Well Pokemon Gen 5 Sturdy is a war crime. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh alright, let's let's just see what happens. No sturdy. Okay. Probably better off just putting Grin up front and killing things. Probably. While we just talk about stuff for a few minutes. So, somebody did something dumb and uh, made a hack of Pokemon Emerald that turns it into a roguelike. Is that something you showed me, or is that another one? Did I show it to you? I may have showed it to you. If I remember. You might have. That sounds like something I would have done. Um, so I've been playing it. I, I've, I'm, I'm one run in right now, but uh, it's weird. So it really does just randomly generate routes. And by randomly generate, I mean it randomly picks routes and stitches them together. And by stitches them together, I mean puts a little warp point at the end of the route and blocks off all other paths. So it's just it's just a series of hallways with a bunch of items scattered uh, around. So not randomized, but it's a bit randomized, but not like not cleanly randomized. Right. Um. So it's just random routes that re that will repeat, or just, or you'll go through a different path because a different one will be opened. Pokemon in there are random. They have the moves you'd expect and everything, but they're just randomly scattered around. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll find an alternate exit to the route. You don't know which is which, but one of them always looks like it's not the normal exit to a route, and it's just been added in. And that's usually the, the secret exit to a route, and at the end of that is a legendary threat catch. Oh. That's interesting. Yes, because um, you might think, well, why not just why not just save scum the legendary? You can't save. That's less interesting. Well, it turns it into an actual roguelike. Do you want, do you want to risk that? You want to you want to risk losing resources and I actually don't know what happens if a Pokemon dies yet because I just got a stupidly good run where my first Pokemon was a Feldum. <laughs> like the first Pokemon I caught, and I started with a Shroomish. So it's just like. Well. And then from there, I caught a bunch of other good Pokemon. Um, basically, I got a really good run. For, or off the bat. Uh, hey, hey, Steelix, how's it going? You're up there.
So I don't I don't know what happens if Pokemon dies. I've just been really careful and I've got plenty of healing items and uh Yeah. So anyway, you go through a couple routes and then you fight a gym leader. As you do. Yeah. And that's kinda how the game works. You go through a couple routes, you 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 get to the healing station before the gym leader, then you fight the gym leader, and then you go to the next zone, as it were. And every time you go to a new area, your your level cap increases by five, I think. But the interesting thing is that you don't have to do any grinding. You fight one Pokemon, and then you're, you everything just gets leveled up to the cap, more or less. There's a soft cap. There's a soft cap and a hard cap. I think I think it's just a, I think it's just a uh, a five level soft cap, but a ten level hard cap per zone so you do a fight and you jump five levels and then you grind up to five levels above that if you want yeah but there's no healing like with no pokemon centers so if you do this you're like balancing power points and health and stuff so it's interesting yeah yeah that can that can be interesting and i don't know what happens if you die yet so we're there. I'm I'm already at like I'm probably almost done with the game because I'm at level 90. Like I, I I got a one and done run through this supposed I, so I don't know what happens. Like are there permanent upgrades to like Pokemon stats or anything like that? I don't know. Like what happens to make it like a a typical roguelite with like permanent uh, upgrades that persist between runs. Don't know. Literally, do not know. But there's a lot of cool stuff in the um, the the he like there's the little like rest stop before the gym leader fight. There's a that you get you can heal. There's a healing item seller. There's a Pokeball seller, and there's a TM seller. The prices are kind of low. But, like, you don't also get that much money. Like, a TM is generally, like, 3,000. Okay, but... My first time there, I only had 1,000-something. I couldn't even buy a TM until, like, the second or third station. There is uh, three move tutors and a move deleter. Move deleters, move deleter. The move tutors are for... Basically, one tutor is every move tutor in the game. Like, every actual move tutor in the game. One of them will teach egg moves, and the other one will teach level up moves, for, all for a cost. And then the interesting stuff is over, like, right before you exit, there's two or three, randomly, um, NPCs. One of them will offer to trade Pokemon with you. You can either pay him some money and trade one Pokemon, and he'll give you a random new Pokemon. Or, for free, he will randomly roll all of your party. Uh, okay. And he's not always there, either. That's the one that's there or not. And then there's two more merchants right before the end. Um, one of them will sell, like, PowerPoint ups or X items or stuff like that, and the other one will sell hold items. And as you progress in the run their inventory expands for all of these NPCs, except for the tutors. So Pokeballs, Pokeballs, TMs, healing items, old items, and battle items. We'll all expand the inventory. And that's pretty much it. There's random, like, the trainers are just randomly placed. They'll have random, like, walk paths, some of them will run in like circles, some of them will just rotate, other ones will just randomly walk around. And Pokemon are random. Sometimes there's extra grass, but like for a zone it's just one encounter table. And that's that's it. I don't know I don't know the between runs like metagame yet. It sounds interesting though. Yeah, we could do a couple runs of it at some point. Um just to show it off. 